Hi guys, <clears throat> Rocky Mountain Relics here, Eric. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing over the winter. Uh, I've got out for one hunt. Uh, ground's thawing now and lower altitude is looking pretty good. So let me give you a shot at some of the stuff I've been doing. Hold on. Okay, first off, I've been doing some artwork, I guess you'd call it. These pieces, everything in these pieces are is uh, old stuff I found. This is a clock. See, I don't have the hands on it, but I will. And that thing going around there, that's uh, from an old lantern. And just bits and pieces. Brooch down here. Kind of hard for me to show it here, all of it. I guess maybe I can do this. Pretty cool. Anyways, and then I got this one. These are all some buttons that I found all over 100 years old. Put a copper old copper uh, stuff I found I put around it and that background is boot leather from an old boot I found soaked in a little bit of oil and <clears throat> got it pliable and tacked her down and put the buttons on there I got one real cool this is a rivet but it's 1873 it's the very first year Levi put out Levi's. So that's a pretty cool one. And then what do we got? Here? These are all suspender buckles. I think it's pretty cool, I don't know. <laughs> The back piece is part to an old stove. I just glued them on there. And this here is all to do with the uh, oh, piece just fell off. I guess it wasn't that good. Huh. Anyway, these are some buttons. Suspender clips, part of a brooch. Some little jewelry pieces. So, I might try and sell some of these just because I've got so much of this stuff. But we'll see. I may give them away. And I learned how to make arrowheads, kind of. I got to start out with bottle bottoms off YouTube, how to make them, and I use glass. That's what these top ones up here are, glass. Just plate glass. It's pretty hard to see anything on this clear stuff. But it took about three months before I could do anything really good. And then I got blanks of obsidian from a flint napping site. And I skinned this one. They come just cut with a saw to the dimensions you want then you gotta skin them get all the stuff off and then you go ahead and make your arrowhead out of it and that's what these are down here these are obsidian just black obsidian this one I just finished today beautiful stuff it's fun to do this was some silver sheen obsidian. It's been fun learning. And this is, uh, geez, I can't think of what it's called. Uh, it's, it's like a wood, it's obsidian, but it's got like a wood pattern to it. I'll think of it here in a minute. <laughs> Oh, mahogany obsidian.
And I did get out for a little hunt, one hunt so far, and got his pocket watch back to it. It's pretty cool. He probably won't be able to see what it says on it. I can't, I don't think. Anyways, it says uh, double timer, and then right below it there it says adjusted to heat and cold. I thought that was pretty cool. A eh, little brooch thing, cufflink. Get it to focus here. I guess it's not going to focus for me. Anyways, there it is. A uh, little thing too, probably, probably like a jewelry box. This printer's plate. Can't can't read what it says on it, but it's a, I can see letters, but it's so degraded. And I got this big brass handle. It's really heavy and really big. You can see it's five inches long. Pretty neat. And I got a I think it's a 45 wheat penny. Found this just in town. And I got a I don't know why this isn't focusing. One focus, I don't know why. Anyway, it's a 1920. Then I got this real nice Indian. It's 1871, but I don't know why my camera is just not working right here. Anyways, there it is. 1871. It's a key date coin, too. Book said in bad condition it's worth $50 to $80. So, I don't know what this is worth. Anyways, I just wanted to show you what I've been up to, and I'll have some more videos coming out soon. Haven't been able to do a whole lot because my mom fell and broke her leg and her ankle, so I've been tending to her quite a bit. So I'll be getting out soon. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, good luck and happy hunting out there, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.